Mental health is a serious concern. By some estimates, depression is about 10 times more common now than it was 50 years ago. People are reporting less subjective well-being, aka happiness, in all aspects of life. Every week we see more headlines highlighting the epidemic of mental health problems. At the SMILE epidemic, we value the mantra of positive psychology, where we believe it is important to build on people's existing strengths and values, specifically by increasing their levels of gratitude. Hi, I'm Jim Moss, founder and chief happiness officer of the SMILE epidemic. For 10 years I was a professional lacrosse player, until suddenly in 2009 I began to lose feeling in my hands and feet. 24 hours later I couldn't walk. Over the course of two days I was diagnosed with a neuromuscular autoimmune disease and I went from being a professional athlete to having to relearn how to walk. I knew I had a major challenge ahead and I had to stay positive, so I was introduced to private gratitude journaling. Since then I have returned to Wilfrid Laurier University to learn more about how our moods impact our physical health. And based on what I've learned, my wife Jennifer and I founded the Smile Epidemic. The Smile Epidemic is an update on the classic concept of a gratitude journal. The only difference is we capitalize on the popularity of social networking and compound the benefits through digital sharing. In its simplest form, individuals capture and share photos of what made them smile throughout their day and what they are grateful for. The project has gone viral with participants from over 1,000 cities and 200 countries around the globe. Research is a central component of our work at the Smile Epidemic. We're about to begin the largest expressed gratitude study in Canadian academic history at Wilfrid Laurier University. Our social innovation is that we use technology to deliver scientifically supported methods of improving people's happiness. We provide a free service to individuals, families, schools, and nonprofit organizations. On the for-profit side, companies pay us to improve their workplace culture by improving the happiness of employees at all levels. We have paying corporate customers who care about the emotional and psychological well-being of their staff, but also understand how this can improve the bottom line. We've been featured on the CTV National News, in newspapers and publications across the country, and in March, we'll present our model of using digital technology to improve happiness at South by Southwest, the largest interactive festival of its kind. At the Smile Epidemic, our team is dedicated to happier people and improved mental health. We have an amazing staff, including PR, communications and sales experts, a PhD in positive psychology, and we are committed to making people happier.